Hello everybody, Chris here, and uh, today we're going to be launching up the two landers for the Minnow mission, our grand tour across the Kerbal system. So the uh, first vessel we're going to be talking about is the Coconut. It is our, uh, you know, our large lander, lots of fuel, uh, cathane. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, part of the reason this mission is even possible with really any size ship is a, a, a plugin called Cathane for Kerbal Space Program. It allows you to mine on other worlds. Uh, we'll, you know, with this one, we're going to assemble the vehicle. We're going to launch it into orbit. Or we're going to launch it into orbit around the moon. We're going to mine up a bunch of uh, a bunch of cathane, and uh, it allows you to make, you know, liquid uh, liquid fuel and oxygen, and then you can, uh, you know escape to go to other destinations. And most of the planets in the system, I think actually all of them, have some cathane. Uh, the moon is a pretty good stop off for us. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and dock this to the minnow. As you can see, I'm approaching the minnow now. Um, I don't know if you can see, but on the bottom of this ship, and on the bottom and on the top, we have this kind of constellation of docking ports. We have uh, five docking ports on either side, and they are a matching set with ones on the minnow that you can see there on the bottom right. Uh, so what you do is you end up getting all lined up. You want to get uh, both ships kind of facing in the same direction. You have three uh, rotational axes in this game, you know, or in most games, you have you have a, a roll, a yaw, and a pitch. So um, once you you know with normal docking, your your yaw and your pitch can be can be fine, and your roll, but your roll really can be whatever you want. Uh, and when you have these kind of constellations, there are certain orientations that work and others that don't. So it requires a really pretty uh, slow approach. You gotta have to be really careful. Um, yeah, this is me. You know, I, you speed up time quite often. But yeah, this is me coming on in. And uh, there's this the feature of MechJub, this parallel minus thing, allows you to say like, "Hey, I like it just right there." Where you can say, "Hey, I'd like you to make these." You know, it doesn't help you get doesn't help you get aligned or uh, translate to the right position, but it helps you get your rotational stuff down. So there's all my RCS going crazy. One of the other things about these larger ships, um, with small ships, you really can kind of depend on the magnetic force of these docking ports to do the job. <laughs> and uh, But with this, you have to kind of uh, force them together. You see my first attempt, I, I went a little too fast, and it was not not the best. But we'll get it in there. So so yeah, you see the even though the coconut is a, is a really large lander, the minnow itself is still a a really pretty big ship. So we go in here for our final dock. Go ahead and give it a little thrust and come on in. Cool. So now that we have uh, now that we have our you know our big lander, we're gonna go ahead and we're with the uh, another pack that we really like is the multi modular multi wheels. You can see all these wheels sticking up the top of the Gilligan uh, rover. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this guy launched up. One thing I did on this particular mission that I didn't do on the last, if you noticed, it was quite a big struggle to get <laughs> to get around the, the the actual launcher. So, in this uh, for this ship, I actually gave it a little bit of RCS. So you can see I can spin this la the launcher around and then deorbit it. You don't want any Kessler syndrome around Kerbin, so. Uh, this is the rover. You can see I have I have that same five point, no, not the exact same, but a similar five point docking constellation there. I'll get that lined up with the minnow. Uh, one thing I did with with this is to try to save weight and complexity on this lander. Uh, I actually didn't give it any thrusters. So in space, it can really just it can rotate and it can thrust with, but only in one direction. It has ma the main engines, um, so you kind of have to kind of back up into it with the whole rest of the ship. We'll see whether or not that is uh, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it didn't seem to be too bad for this docking. You know the the minnow uh, with. The minnow with the coconut on it is pretty big. 
So I think in you know I'll probably try to you know if I have both landers on the surface of a planet I might try to bring the Gilligan up first just so that the minnow is uh, not quite as heavy. Yeah, one nice thing with Kerbal, Spa Kerbal Space Program is you can select any docking port you like and say, hey, control from here. And that orientation informs the, all the nav ball and all the controls as to which direction you actually want to have be forward for the time being, which is really nice. I'm very happy they did that because otherwise you'd have to like you have to be thinking about it in reverse or on the side, you know, like upside down. But no, you can you can really say, hey, this is I, I did here. It's probably too fast to catch, but um, I said, hey, this one in the middle on the back of the minnow is that is my main port, and you you can target a similar port on the on the lander, and that'll you know you can you know get them lined up. So here I'm coming on in. And like I said before, with small ships, you don't really have to come in very fast at all uh, because the magnetic force of these docking ports, you'll see, just suck that Gilligan right on in. Yeah. See? There we go. So this is our ship. This is, uh, we're ready for our three-hour tour across the Kerbal system. And I think this is going to be a really fun trip. I hope you guys will join me for all the videos. So, oh, and yeah, this is the inside of that awesome B-9 cockpit, and you can see, you know, you could fly the whole mission from here. You can see through the floor, and you have a bunch of controls, so have a good night.